The government is acquiring a 57-year-old building at Thompson Road near the upcoming North-South Corridor. The building will be demolished over safety concerns ahead of excavation, wor excavation works, Isabel Lim reports. After standing here for more than 50 years, this four-story building at 68 to 74 Thompson Road will have to make way for the 21.5-kilometer North-South Corridor. It's expected to better connect the northern regions to the city center once completed in 2027. This North-South Corridor construction site that lies on Thompson Road is, if you walk with me, just about six to seven meters, give or take, from the front of this building. And that's why all you see behind me right now are empty shop fronts. And that's because all the occupants of this building had to move out by February of this year in order for concrete strengthening works to be carried out in anticipation of excavation work for the North-South Corridor. The freehold property has a total of 12 residential and four commercial units. The 15 owners were informed this morning of the government's decision to acquire and demolish the building. Personally, I feel that if the issue here is about the safety of the building um, and it cannot be um, kept, we'll understand at the end of the day and we will accept your decision to, to demolish the buildings, right? But why is there a need to take the land away from us? While the occupants had expected to vacate the premises for two years, further inspection of the building revealed that its concrete was too weak and it was too risky to carry out works to strengthen its foundation. When the building undergo large distortion, large displacement, uh, it is very hard to say that some of the structural element or some of the building element within the, the, the building may fall down, right? So when it, it falls down, then it may actually uh, cause injury or even fatality to the workers that's working inside. The government will acquire the property at today's market rate. SLA and LTA will work closely with the affected owners and assist them through the acquisition process. The property will be handed over by the end of July and construction works to begin from the third quarter of this year.